Hey Blade Ops, uh, today doing a little desktop demo of a Spyderco knife that has been re-released as a sprint run. It was made quite a few years back and I guess it was popular, there was some demand for it so they did a little sprint run. Uh, if I'm not mistaken it was five or six hundred units and here's the box. It is the Spyderco Shabaria. That's S-H-A-B-A-R-I-A, -A -A, product code. C59 CFP and here's the knife. Take a quick look at it, talk a little bit about it. It's got the smooth carbon fiber handle top and bottom and the very unique blade design. It is VG10 Japan and super unique. It's got this crazy hourglass handle, kind of a boxier top up here and then the, the slender design. One thing I noticed right off the bat is the the laser engraving where it says Spyderco there on the blade and then also on the back VG10 Japan is a little bit deeper and a little more unique than some of the other knives I've seen. Uh, it's kind of an interesting little detail. I like it. It's got the Spyderco on the front, Spyderco Spider there, and then the Maker's logo. And then on the clip it has the gold spider, which is awesome. It's got the open design with the liner lock. I'm not going to talk too much about the specs. Um, it is, it is a collaboration that Spyderco did with Israeli knife maker, knife designer, Edward Bratichansky. So I guess the Shibaria is made after some fixed blades that they used in the region. And I get, they were talking flint knives. You can read inside your Spyderco knife. I don't know if you ever pull this out, but it does talk a little bit about your knife and whatnot. I'll just read real quick. It says the Jordan River Valley Nomad centuries ago made and carried a curved fixed blade called a shab shabaria for agricultural and protection. Israeli knife designer Edward Bradichansky co-mingled. So that's just a little bit about it. There's some more information there. Just wanted to do a little demo and remind everyone about Spyderco's sprint run release of the shabaria. It's a little bit on the higher end, but if you're a Spyderco collector, uh, this would be a great time to add to your collection. So, let me know what you think about the knife. Um, if you have any questions down below about Spyderco or the Shibaria, uh, be sure to comment and subscribe to our knife videos. Check it out, Blade Ops.